Lonnie. Lonnie the theater lady. I'm Brian. It is always good to see you. It's always good to be here. Uh, taking a rest from your busy travels around this city, seeing fantastic theater. And I did, <gasps> again. Tell I us saw about it. a really, to, not to sound like Ed Sullivan, a really big show. Really, really big good show. show. Um, 1984. Currently at the New Hayes Lit Theater. Oh yes, based on the uh, novel George, by George Orwell, Orwell novel. Right. What were you doing in 1984? Wow. I don't know if I want to tell you that one. <laughs> that good a, of a year, huh? I was having a lot more fun then than I am now. Let's just leave ah, it at that, okay? okay well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> uh, this show was so brilliantly done and so effective and so powerful. It has a bleak political message that is chilling. Well, yeah, if I remember correctly, it's all about Big Brother is watching, watching you, you or, yeah. Uh, and, and it was Orwell's vision of the future, which he, you know, had yeah. in 1984. Well, it was written in the 40s, right. so that was the future. Now it's the past, but the set was amazing. It was, the whole background was filled with screen after screen after screen of different sizes where Big Brother was not only watching the people on stage, gave you the feeling you were being watched too. It was kind of creepy, but also that's where they broadcast their propaganda and lies. So, uh, uh, did I say John Michael Bohatch did no, this I wonderful gonna, set? I was going to ask you who did it, yeah, but he always he does a very, very nice uh, job. And the Kim Brown costumes were really so wonderful for what was happening. You know, the very, almost like a prison uniform kind of everybody dressing the same, being the same. I don't have to spend any time on the plot. I don't think everybody knows. It was the thought police and double speak, and it was really, really relevant to our political scene right now. Yeah, yeah, our yeah. alternative facts, post-truth kind of scene. It was really frightening how easily totalitarianism can take over really frightening but there were three really outstanding performances large cast all good but the three outstanding performances were the two leads Justin Fortunato who played Winston and boy you could just feel his suspicion and fear and anguish he really was so authentic in his performance and the other lead that played Julia was Jesse Ray Goodman she was just a wonderful foil to him because she kind of, although she was careful in everything she did, she kind of lost herself in love and her sweetness and her femininity came out. I, I really enjoyed her. And the other strong character was uh, Samantha Camp. Oh, yeah. And uh, she just radiated love for the party. Uh, when she spoke about the party, you could see her love for it, but things didn't work out. The party being well within the play, the party that is, I guess, in control that in culture, or something. Right. Like that. They just called it the party, the party of Oceana, which was where they were living. So, I highly recommend it. And it and is playing at the uh, New Hazlet over on the north, north side, side. Uh, through March twelfth, directed by Rich Keitel, nineteen eighty four. You here were at the we disco. Are. Was Disco dead I, by then? No, I was no. still. You I were was keeping still. it alive. Yes, I knew I'd get it out of you. <laughs> oh boy, you could have found me any night at the greenery, the giraffe, uh, confetti. All these old dance clubs that are like, you know. Uh, they're they're like, defunct now. And Heaven was my favorite. Downtown, oh, it's yeah. another Renaissance Hotel. Heaven was Heaven. You could be a historian oh. on old dance clubs of Pittsburgh's past. Like there could be a gallery exhibit that you curate. I think. I would love that if they were playing music and Let's I could demonstrate the dances. Oh, VIP with a lighted dance floor. That was another one of my favorites. <laughs> Every night was a different night, you know, a different place to go. Well, you, you have taken us back to 1984 in so many ways today, Lonnie, the theater <laughs> lady. Thank you very much. Thank you.